This is just a quick video to show you how to set up your My Energy Zappi or Eddy um, to avoid battery drains. Whether you've got a power wall or something else and you don't want your Eddy or Zappi to purposely, automatically take power um, from your battery. This is what you need to do. <laughs> So apologies for voice and everything, I'm not feeling too good, but I thought I'd just do this video really quickly. So a few people have contacted me to say, you know, how can you get your Zappi or your Eddy to avoid draining the battery um, that you have connected to your solar or whatever. So whether that be a power wall or um, whatever it may be. Um, and really, uh, there's a couple of things to note on this. If you um, boost your uh, device, so whether that be your Zappi or your Eddy, it will drain your battery because you're boosting, so it's just going to ask for power, and some of it will come uh, from your battery, some of it will come from the grid, depending on you know, the, the ability of your battery um, to provide the power that's being asked for. Um, but ordinarily, the, I think the problem that people have is that um, it sees the battery as a power surplus. So during the day, if the solar kind of goes down. Um, people can sometimes have their battery drained because it's um, taking a surplus. So what you need to do really is a couple of things. Um, I have my um, Zappi and my Eddy connected up through a Harvey. Um, so you need to have an additional CT clamp that's basically connected um, up to the live wire of your battery so that um, the My Energy product basically knows what's happening in terms of energy going in or out of the battery because it needs that additional sensing to know that basically you have a battery. Um, so once you've got that in place, um, you can go into the advanced menu on your My Energy product and go to supply grid and you will see there is an option for AC battery and it's in there that you want to select it to not drain the power. So uh, in the little overview that I'm doing as I'm talking, I'm doing this on my Eddy Basically, the setup is very, very similar on the Zappi. I'm just doing it on my Eddy because my Eddy is my master device. So whatever settings I set for this on my Eddy get populated over to my Zappi. So I hope that helps. Um, so yeah, you need the CT clamp uh, on your battery and then you want to set that to avoid drain. And nine times out of 10, it, it tends to do what it says very rarely now that I get any um, drain in normal operating. If you do get some drain, it will be because you've put the CT clamp the wrong way around um, on the battery feed. I did have that um, the wrong way around initially and it did cause me some problems once I'd fixed some of the firmware issues. So I hope that helps. Um, but yeah, that's how to avoid battery drain with your MyEnergy products. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.